Hello Scorpio, welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading for October 20th to October 26th. So please remember there's no way this can connect with every single Scorpio out there. If you're new to my channel and you like the way I read, it really helps to subscribe to the channel. And the feminine and masculine energies can be vice versa, but do not force it to apply. So take what you can use and leave what you can't. And welcome cross watchers. Cross watchers are people who watch their loved one's videos to try and gauge a situation of what is going on. Alright, so here we go. The first one for you of the Oracle Earth Wisdom Oracle card. Scorpio is awareness. This is nice. So you see the full moon in there and you see the darkness. So I feel like at night time lately you may have been doing some soul searching where well, I'm trying to get this in the light more you may have been doing some soul searching in the night lately um, where you can't sleep but awareness talks about let me look in there talks about coming aware that is number 13 which would equal a 4 So it talks about um, things that we need to go inside and deal with that like are the dark side that we don't want to deal with. That's what it talks about. So awareness is dealing with everything, accepting the good, the bad, whatever we don't want, that we deal with it anyway. That would be awareness. So transformation. This also is kind of a nighttime card, 16. And you see the moon in the back there. This talks about totally transforming, where something totally happened to where it changed you. And amethyst is healing, where you're changing a thought process, a behavior process. A lot of things you're changing and transforming because you want a different outcome in your life. So beautiful. You see the blue, which makes me think of angelite, even though my angelite is in my room. Um, and the amethyst. Beautiful. So then we'll pull one more of the angel or the earth wisdom. Bless sight 28. And this talks about transformation as well. And this has the amethyst in here as well, I think. Does this? I'm going to have to look now. I'm pretty sure these both have, it can't have amethyst, but it sure looks like they do. So let me look and see. No, it said, oh yes, it says amethyst, and then 28 is rhodochrosite. So yeah, this is not amethyst. Oh wait, oh, that's a flower is what I was looking at. Sorry about that. A oh, lavender is the flower. So this talks about blessed sight. So there's something that you're going to be glad that you can be aware of what is going on with your spiritual self. A lot of people aren't even aware of you. And I know a lot of it, when you come to deal with stuff, might hurt releasing people that you thought would be around you a long time but don't have the same vibration as you. Releasing them could be sad. But be glad that you have the wherewithal and the knowledge to transform your life and grow and and change and rebalance yourself and yes it's sad we have to when we change and recalibrate so to speak we end up letting people go release people that aren't changing their vibration with us just as some people probably change and leave us because we aren't changing our vibration with them if that makes sense so I'm going to start with the charcoal wisdom deck now one side you one side your partner feel free to vice versa one side you, one side your partner, and the masculine feminine energies can be vice versa as well. So the first one we have is Four of Wands Wedding. Right off the get-go we have Wedding Scorpio. So either some of you are thinking about a wedding or this reading is going to be involved in a wedding. That is the first card of the Chakra Wisdom of the regular tarot. That's an oracle. So pretty serious. So over here, three of coins to me is growth and promotion with the coins, or it could mean a co-worker. So two of wands. So two of wands is somebody making a decision where it concerns more than themselves. 
three of wands. So we went from two of wands to the other person, three of wands. This is opportunity. So we have three twice over here. So I don't know if three means anything to anybody. We'll see what more comes out. Um, but yeah. So the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is really nice. This says that you have everything you need for any new beginnings, any changes, any transformations you want to make to your life. This says you have those. You have the ability. You have everything you need. And so maybe that's what you're contemplating here. So Queen of Coins is somebody who has a lot of intuition. This person is secure and stable with their intu intuition. So then you have Two of Coins. So Two of Coins is being flexible and compromising, making a decision about something. So we have two here and two here. And we have three there and three there. So this is Two of Coins and Two of Wands, and we have Three of Wands and Three of Coins. So that's a solar plexus chakra, and this is the sacral chakra. So Google those if you don't know what they are, and kind of compare so you can teach yourself. So the star is usually wish fulfillment, dream coming true, somebody coming towards you that you've manifested or something. This would involve love to me because the heart and the star, the green the water, a lot of love. So this marriage is really special to this person right here, Scorpio, is what I'm seeing. So then we have the Fool, which is the precursor to taking a leap of faith, to doing something you've never done before or something most people wouldn't do. So taking a leap of faith towards love usually is what that card represents. So Eight of Coins is somebody planning and organizing. So yeah, we have a lot of coins. So Eight of Cups. So that's weird. We have Eight of Coins here, and then we have Eight of Cups here. So Eight of Cups is karma. This is somebody getting made to feel or deal with somehow they made somebody else feel, is what that is. Now why do I have six here and only five here? This is weird. Did I mess up somewhere and draw too many cards? I think this one maybe should have went over here. I don't know. It went the way it went. So I'm going to draw one more for over here, which is Ten of Wands. So Ten of Wands is somebody getting ready to move forward, but they're looking, and I'm going to put it over here so we're even. We have six here and six here now, right? Yes. So this is somebody getting ready to move forward in a new direction and they're getting ready to leave they're taking one last look at the past before they take a step into their future a new beginning of some sort if that makes sense Scorpio so I shuffle all my decks before I turn the camera on but I just give them one more shuffle and cut the deck after I turn the camera on so this is Tarot Illuminati by Eric Denon it represents the Latin meaning for enlightened he says so the first one is Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is somebody wanting to come at you correctly. They want to date you right, which I thought something was up with this planning here. They just want to do everything correctly. So Ace of Cups, this is beautiful. This is um, love, happiness, peace. So I almost don't know if the karma made this person realize something that made them align more, or they did something, they took a leap of faith, and karma caught up with them for that. And karma could be anything, and it's not meant to hurt us. It's just to make us learn how other people feel, or a behavior where is cruel that we're doing and we don't realize it, which I don't understand. But anyway, so Prince of Pentacles is... The prince coming in, this is like the show-off prince. He's the prince who wants to show off. Look what I got. Look at me. Come look what I have. So he's showing off to you, whoever this is, who wants to do everything right. And then over here we have Prince of Cups. So this is love. This is good. We have love over here. And somebody wanting to do something right and bringing coins. 
All right, so then we have Ten of Wands. So didn't we have Ten of Wands before? We did. So we have Ten of Wands twice. So I almost feel like somebody in this deck that I'm holding, the new Ten of Wands, that means that somebody's taking their losses and they're walking away. That somebody is didn't get their love. So I'm kind of confused because we have love, lifetime, um, love here, and then somebody walking away. So I'm so confused. So then we have the world, which we have the Wheel of Fortune here, we have stars, we have marriage, we have so much major arcana on this side over here. This is just beautiful. So then over here again we have Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is somebody looking how far they've come and how hard they've worked to get to where they are. So I don't know if they had to leave something behind to move into a loving relationship with you, Scorpio, or you're having to do this. It almost seems like the Ten of Wands twice is ending. You had to leave something behind to go towards your love is almost what I'm picking up. It could be family member, friend, job, could be anything. But this has a lot of good cards over here, a lot of major arcana. So let's pull more. This is Justice. This would be the Balance card. Things balancing out. Queen of Pentacles is a queen who is single and she's very secure in her um, single. She can be loyal. She can be like, let's put it this way, if you're in a long term relationship, this queen can be faithful. She does not have a problem being faithful in a long term relationship when somebody's away. So Nine of Swords, somebody's all stressed out, somebody can't sleep, so I am so confused. And then we have Three of Wands and Ten of Swords. So it seems like this person has a decision to make and it's stressing this person out and then it hurts this person whatever decision this person makes. to a pentacle. So uh, th this is usually juggling. And didn't we have this before over here? Two of pentacles. Yep. So this one has juggling. It could be juggling two jobs not telling anyone. Juggling a wife and the mom. Could be juggling a brother and the girlfriend. Could be juggling anything. This person seems to be juggling two things. And it's probably out of love. So then Five of Cups is this person over here feeling really lonely and hurt. They feel left out in the cold. They look back and think how sad they are that things went the way they did. So Eight of Swords, this person is in denial. This person is in denial about juggling somebody else, whether it was a love person or not. They just don't even seem to realize what happened there. They either they're self-sabotaged and they don't want to see it, or, yeah, that's amazing. They have a lot of good cards, a lot of good cards, and then that came out. So they're in denial about something that happened, an ending. All right, so the first one, we're going to do past, present, future, the situation. If it's a relationship, you can call it a relationship. The past is love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. This is healing and obviously love and abundance. Beautiful. And we have the healing up here. So you're really healing. Awareness transformation. You're really healing from a love situation. The present situation is service. I feel good when I can help others. So I don't know if something about you, Scorpio, hurting like that is making you connect with other people or you have a job or you go help other people and it alleviates the stress and the pain you felt from this and that's helping you heal. So the future of this is humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. So this is good. You're moving, you're healing and you're moving for a more happier time it looks like. 
in the future, immediate future. And you're like, this is going to be fun. It's going to be happy. I'm not going to be um, stressed out with somebody who's confused or listens to other people. So now I'm going to pull the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle card for you, Scorpio. So the first one is Blend into the Environment 36. You have many skills and can fit into any situation. Take time to access what is going on around you and adapt accordingly. So this is somebody who can be in a situation and act like it's not bothering them or go below the radar, so to speak, to where people can't read them. Poker face. So the next one, 42, gentle moderation. Take your time. Pressure from others or myself or yourself can be released by renegotiating what you're trying to accomplish. So this is moderation. Purple is healing. I don't know if there's some issue around teeth when this comes out because the walrus's teeth are very prominent in this card. But I love this card, the purple. And they just look so peaceful and calm. So... Moderation. I don't know if there's something you're being too aggressive with or you're not being aggressive enough, but general moderation is going to put you to where you want to go. I mean, I see a lot of healing. You have humor in there. You have blending into the environment. You service to others. You're just moving to a really good place from a painful time is what it looks like, Scorpio. And maybe helping others is how you're going to heal and you're going to find your place again, so to speak. Or your something that moves you to where you're supposed to go. I do see love in here. There is a lot of love. I don't know what the situation is. Oh, I guess i got to pull the Angel and Ancestor card first, too. I don't know what the situation is there with... A lot of love and a lot of opportunities. It just looks like somebody let somebody else interfere. And it doesn't look like they were in love with a person. It almost looks like a family member or a, a job. Something interfered in the relationship that... Because I didn't see the card that would represent a third party person. I just see somebody juggling something. But... One is a love relationship and the other one is not. I don't know what it is. So the Angel and Ancestor card that comes out for you, Scorpio, is Mountain. Stand your ground. This is beautiful. This talks about being rooted in the ground and secure and knowing who you are and where you stand on something. Reaching to the sky is reaching for healing, asking the universe for answers, and they're guiding you. You're reaching, you're grounded, and you're reaching for knowledge. It's just beautiful, really. And then night. Be brave and honest. So this talks about in the book how he holds his staff. It talks about the rose, the chalice in there. It talks about also he has a tear running down his face. And it's very hard to see. You have to be really up close with the card. But it's very sad. And the tears for all the sacrifices that you may have made for others to have a easier time than you would have put for yourself. So all the times I guess you put yourself before other people. Scorpio. It seems like you've done it a lot. And now they're asking you to go to moderation um, you're grounded, you're reaching for the sky, you have knowledge, you're very loving, you have humor, and you're just transitioning. So I feel like you're transitioning to a happier, more honest, more grounded life, if that makes sense, is what I'm picking up. So I hope that helps. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. If you're not subscribed, it really helps me out a lot. If you hit the bell icon when you subscribe, your phone will beep wherever you are. And if you don't hit the bell icon, your phone will not beep when you subscribe. But I am in Pacific Standard Time, and I upload two videos every day at 4 a.m. So calculate on that whether you want the bell icon to beep your phone or not. 
All right, thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Bless you, Scorpio.